Hey, it's Meg. Welcome back to my channel and hello if you are new. Today I have another junk journal tutorial for you and this time it's a no sew journal. So when I put a poll out on Instagram a couple of weeks ago, a lot of you said that you find sewing to be the most challenging part. So I really wanted to show you um, a junk journal that you didn't need to do any sewing for um, and it's actually really great to use up your scraps. So this is the journal that I have created. It's a bit like a Blue Peter moment, I know. This is one I made earlier. Um, but it's really great, as you can see, for using up your scraps. And I've also added bits of paint as well as a kind of background. Of course, with this style as well, it means you get a double-sided journal. Um, and you can make this as big or as small as you like. So you can add lots of pages. Um, it's a really great way to make a journal with obviously no sewing involved so let's get straight into it so what you will need is some scrap papers um, you can use anything from your stash um, and if you're looking for ideas then I'll pop a link to my recycled junk journal supplies video where I go through loads of ideas of things you can use so I've got obviously things from my stash um, and you can have smaller pieces of paper or larger pieces of paper i'll show you how to like sort of patchwork them together and make them into a really interesting page you'll also need glue and scissors and then some tapes so i've got a paper tape here a basket of washi tapes and some sellotape as well so go grab all of those bits and then we will get started the first thing you want to do is to decide what size journal you're going to make um, and the beauty of this is obviously it can be whatever size you want i like working in a6 journals but if you like working in an a5 journal then obviously size up these instructions and um, you can make it wider shorter whatever you want so what we're gonna do is start building the base of our pages. So I'll start off with this piece of music sheet paper. Now we'll use this as a base and then we know how big we want our pages to be. So if you fold this in half, you can see that's the start of the journal. And essentially we're just gonna be building out a really long page, flip this over to here and then we will grab another sheet so let's use this book page and this is quite a thick book page which is really good for this and then what we want to do is fold this so you've got a bit of an overlap and then fold it in so you probably want maybe like an inch or so just so that obviously it's going to connect nicely so we've folded that and you can see we've got like a little flap. So essentially that's what we're gonna be working with as we go along. And then this is a little bit tall, so I will just fold this to the size we want and then trim that off. Um, you can be more precise and use scissors if you'd like, but um, I don't mind the rough edges. And then what we're gonna do is just glue this down so we'll put glue alongside this edge here, like so, and then glue that on. And then what you can do, if you'd like, is you can reinforce your um, your joins with some washi tape. Um, and this is a really great way of building an interesting base for your junk journal that you can then work off when you come to journal on these pages. So I'm just gonna add some washi tape here. It's kind of half a decoration but then also half for obviously keeping the pages um, secure. And then you can see there, we've got our sort of beginnings of this page. Now you'll notice that obviously this does not come to the end of here. So this is where our scraps will come in. So what I want you to do is find a piece that is maybe a little bit thinner. Let's see. So here's a scrap of paper that obviously is not big enough to make a page. What we can do here, is obviously you make sure you have your about an inch or so overlap line it up and then where you have the fold of your page you then go ahead and fold that in and just fold that across and then obviously tuck it up to where the page meets so i will just trim that off and then this is almost the introduction then of the next page so what you can do is then glue this down 
So we'll pop some glue along the edge of this and then line it up. And you can see that my um, page doesn't actually go to the end, um, but that doesn't matter because obviously we can add extra scraps here. And then you can see then that we're starting to build the pages. So essentially you will just go ahead and work this way and then this way and then this way. So that's the kind of formation that we're working in. So we'll grab our next piece of paper. So maybe I'll grab this tea dyed piece of paper. Just grab half of that and then line it up. Obviously trim off the excess. Um, you can measure and um, pre-cut these pages, but I quite like the patchwork effect of just grabbing something from your stash, building it up and seeing how it fits and then gluing it on. So we will just glue this part here. And obviously as you go as well, adding any washi tape for strength of your pages to make sure they don't um, come apart is obviously something you can do as well. So there you can see we've got four pages and then obviously you've got the reverse of this as well. And like I said, if you wanted to reinforce um, your pages, you can grab some tape. So this is just some brown um, paper tape that I have and I can just peel off like this. Um, and it's really great for creating like a collaged background that then when you come to journal, you've not got that blank canvas to work on. Um, as you can see with this one that I made, you know, I have used all sorts of different scraps and really, you know, I've even used the tag here and then sometimes I've used bigger parts and then sometimes I've got smaller parts. So you can really go ahead and build up um, a really interesting background of pages. Um, and like I said, this is really great if you've just got small pieces. So I'll show you how to build a page with small pieces. Um, and then essentially you just go ahead and keep building your pages for as many pages as you want. And then you have your journal. Um, you could attach some stronger cardboard to the front if you wanted a cover, totally up to you. Um, but I, I like to leave it until the end just because if I want to keep extending my journal, um, then, then I can do. And obviously you don't have to worry about the spine because there isn't one really. Um, it all just comes into like one giant strip of journal. Um, but it's a really fun way of doing these backgrounds and obviously when you patchwork your pages together you almost don't realize what you've got until you've finished and then you turn it around and think oh gosh you know you've got a nice piece to work on so i'll show you how to build the smaller pieces so let's just grab and i mean literally tiny so um let's see do we have that small so, you know, book pages, scrap papers, anything. And this is really good if you've been doing a project and you have bits left over. So let's see. So something like this um, would be really nice. So again, have your inch or so overlap. And then what I'm gonna do with this one is I'm gonna do this halfway. So I'm gonna have half of this page and then I'm gonna do half book page. So we folded that like so, and then we will come in and do our inch or so flap and then fold that over. So we've got this bit here. We will glue this down and then attach it like so. And you can see then we've got half of a page. And then what you wanna do then is sort of come around to this side and then I'm gonna come in with this book page and you can um, you can overlap this. So you can go to maybe about here and obviously always make sure that you're overlapping with the previous page. Um, that's the main thing that you need to remember with this method. And then we're just gonna add some glue down the side here and then obviously glue these two pieces together. And then I'm just gonna add some washi tape just to reinforce and obviously add decoration. So you can see we're really building up a nice patchwork to work off when we come to journal on this. So 
there's our page and I'm just gonna make sure that's folded. So always make sure you're doing this side and then this side. And we can see then that this folds out nicely. See then we've got um, a gap here. So I will just grab something that is long enough. So something like this. And I will just come in and make sure that it's the right height. And I just love how fuss free this method is. Um, if you've seen other videos of mine, you'll know how fuss free I like to make things. So um, you can really use whatever you have on hand. So make sure you've got your overlap and then line it up. And then you'll obviously just want to, you can just carry on this page. So you can see here that it's a, a funny angle, um, but we can build that into our next page. And then just add our glue to create our seam. So you can either have a seam on the edge or you can have one in the middle of the page. Um, it doesn't matter. Add that on. And you can even then just add little scraps between the page just to reinforce things. So washi tape, sellotape, tape, or even just little scraps you can add um, just to obviously keep things nice and secure and then you can see there that's our patchwork page so we've got like four different types of paper there for a page and then like I said you turn it over and then you've got um, the reverse to work on as well so that's essentially the method you'll just keep on going until you have something that is a bit more like this however thick you want to make it and then like I said you can start adding um, paint or different pieces of embellishment. You can use tags, all sorts of things. Um, you can use envelopes, you know, bigger pieces, collage the smaller pieces together. Um, it's totally up to you. So I hope you have fun creating um, these accordion style junk journals. Um, and if you do make one, um, tag me on Instagram or send me a DM. I'd love to see what you create. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!